Hello there. So you are bored of the traditional and dungeons? Cycles are not it? Eevee is not good? Well, I've got something for you. Octane for Blender. As you can see, I will show you in this video how to install an uh, Octane render engine, which is, yeah, exactly that engine that people is using. That's everything you need to know. And few little tricks how to use it in Blender. Let's get to it. So firstly, we need to download Octane. You can simply write to Google Blender 2.8 Octane, or you can click on the link in the description. Just to let you know how actually good I am to you. And that wasn't page where we can find Octane. It will be right here. Yes, that's the official form from Otto, which is company behind Octane. And you can find most of the things you need to do here. But I will simply explain it because who wants to read these days, right? So you have to register over here, click on the link which I clicked and register here. Then once you will register and sign in, you will ha you will be redirected on this page where you can, uh, where you have to download both these files, down Blender Octane Render Edition and Octane Server. Once you will install both files, you will have it in two separate folders. So first thing you need to do is to go to Octane Server Prime and click on Octane Server. Nothing will happen, but that's all right. It shouldn't click back and Blender Octane. And now we are just with a normal Blender, but with a bit of a difference. And that's we have installed Blender. Once the Blender decides to start. Here we go. So let's get to it. Uh, you may be bit confused because I don't have basic cube. Yes, I created my own preset, so I don't have cube there. Don't judge me. <laughs> well, once you will click here, you will have the render engine and Octane. In case that it is not there, click on edit, preferences, add-ons, and right there, write Octane. And this needs to be clicked as Okay, as done, whatever you call it. <laughs> and now we can get to rendering. Let's switch it. But nothing happened. Why? Because we are in EV. So we have to switch it to Octane. And we can see that something is happening. So let's try to create something. For example, plane. And I would say we will create Susan because Susan is best for testing anything. But there is a little bug, as you can see. We can actually see anything rendering there. That's uh, actually a really bug that is in current version of Octane, which may be that once you will inside, it won't be there. But right now it is. So you need to create camera. Once you will create camera, everything will work just fine. Let's set camera. Add some subdivision. It's not important, but I just don't like Susan to be so cubical, so so Minecrafty. I would say Minecrafty sounds good. It should be part of English language. Cambridge would definitely agree on that. So once this is done, you are basically done. There is nothing more you need to know. But I'll show you a few little tricks because you need to. Go to shading and set it to what in case it is not yet. And here you can play it with a little bit. You just have to set it again to render view. And now in here you can set up different kind of kinds of environments. I would actually def most of the time def uh, recommend Nishita Daylight because I feel like it uh, gives you a way more contrast. Or you can click Control A, Octane Environment, and choose some of these. You can also, of course, use HDRI or your own lighting setup, but I will create another tutorial for that, so you can stay tuned for this, for that. Alrighty, this is done. But there is the last bug that I need to warn you about, and that's that you can't actually render it now. Why? Because you are rendering in this window. You have to switch this off and now you can render as much as you want. 
Wonderful. It's also possible that before you will be able to render it, it will, you will have to sign for, um, you will have to sign in that uh, Octane account you have registered. All right, we are set. That's everything you need to know to use by Octane. Uh, no, of course not. But that's everything you need to know to have it registered, uh, have it registered and installed on your Blender. So in next tutorial, I will show you some tricks with lighting, how we can create lightings from mesh, how we can use HDRI, which is pretty important actually. And then there are another tutorials I'm thinking about. If you have any idea what kind of tutorial you would like to have for Octane, write it down to comments. I would love to make it or at least research it and decide if it is worth it. It probably will be. <laughs> anyway, uh, as I said, I hope you liked it. That's everything from me. I would love, I would like to talk with you through Instagram or anything like that. So mine is in the description. If you create something amazing, tag me there. I would like to share it and look at it. See ya.